So the next setup now is to have a look at manhandling this box. It will need some holes cutting in here so that we can get a grip of it to pick it up. Also, I'll put some in down here again so that we can pick the box up. I think I'll put some sledge type runners at the bottom which we'll see later to help it slide in and out and to give us a finger hole at this end here raised up off the base of the vehicle and then we should be able to manhandle the box in and out of the car bearing in mind it will have the loco with the batteries attached just ready for the road as soon as you get to the track you're visiting so i'm going to do those modifications to the box now let's get cracked on so firstly i'm just looking at this sledge rail arrangement which i was talking about and basically i've taken a piece of timber which was the same section as these here and I'm just going to arrange it so that I can get my hand just under there like that and make it the same at both ends so we might as well make it 5 inch so I'll, I'll mark that at 5 inch slide that back to 5 inch I'll put a radius on there like that so that again the box can slide in and out and there's no sharp edges for people to hurt themselves on this section will be fastened to there with a screw slightly countersunk in so that whenever it's sliding about and anything we're not going to do any damage to any finished surface and it'll have plenty of grip so this bit will end equidistantly on either side of the box and i'll put one on this side as well that will enable us to get our hand underneath as the box is currently upside down
reasonably rough file. <laughs> Mark up to where we want the holes drilling. I'm just going to put four screws across the length of this piece of wood. I'm just going to countersink where we need them to be. So the head will sink in and we won't damage anything that this thing runs across. Just run a pilot drill down to these timbers, ready for these to go into these screws, and that way we won't end up splitting the timber when we run the screw in. Put the timber onto its marks, which I made previously. setting the timber this timber level with the outside edge of this plywood box screw in initially to hold it in place and then I'll do the other holes there we go so I've counter sunk them now I'm going to first round with the pilot drill again of 
the screws in. same with this side here and that will be good so that's the tool fitted now so I'll turn the box the right way up effectively and we'll see just how that system works okay so that's how easily it can be picked up and maneuvered around now plenty of room to get your hands underneath pull it etc and of course with that slope on the end there that we've made it's so much easier There's no jagged edge catching anywhere so that's how that system works there I call these a sledge runner but it's just a piece of timber so now I'm going to have a look at cutting two holes in here and then joining the two together forming a slot I'll do that at the top here and I'll do it at the bottom as well and then you can actually put your hands your fingers inside a hole and there's no chance of it sliding off and losing your grip like there would be there your hand could slide out but with a slot it couldn't and what I'm going to do where the timber runs across the top here I'm going to put the holes just on the bottom side of that timber such that when you put your fingers in you're not just holding on to the thin plywood but you've got something reasonable so that you're not kind of cutting your hands on a sharp or thin plywood that this box is actually made of at the bottom it is what it is but at the top we do have the option to be able to hold on to a thicker timber inside so that's what we'll do right so i'm going to put two holes one there and one kind of there I'm going to do them four inch apart to the outside edge from one end to the other four inch apart one hole two holes join the two together forming a slot that I can put my fingers in and I'm going to do it such that my fingers when they come through will be on the underside of this timber here so you have a, a fair grip rather than just the sharp edge or thin edge of the plywood box so because i was using the box before it was completely finished i had to have the top on but in order to make these slots at this end and in particular at the far end which hasn't got the hinged door then uh, i've removed the top and i'm going to mark up on the inside using the edge of the cutter on the underside of this timber and the inside of that timber there in the corner so it's touching both and i'll just scribe like that and that will leave me with a pinpoint which i can drill through then knowing where that is so i'll do that in all four corners then with my angled drill I'll locate the hole and drill it from inside to out to establish where it wants to be
going to gently so as not to damage the outer face of the plywood. So now I've established my mark, I can drill from outside to in, knowing that I should be in the right place. <laughs> And of course the reason I'm drilling from outside to in is because the drill won't fit in between that space and this bit won't fit in the right angled tool that I've got because of the diameter that we need for the chuck. Where, the, where I want my outside edge of my cutter to land. So again I'll push the cutter up against the inner edge and mark it up with the end of the four inch. Scribe it round with that, leaving a pinpoint on too hard because I don't want to break all the fibres of this board off in the inside. So I'll mark those across, level at the top. bottom and then I'll open those two out into a slot with the treble or I should have said the works
and I'll dress that up with a file, sandpaper, and that'll be that. So that forms a reasonable handle then that your hand can't slide out of and of course we're actually gripping this timber on the inside so I'll do the other four holes just like that one and I'll also do some down at the bottom here which will be down here a similar carry on just in the corner there and out to here somewhere at four inch so I'll do them and then we'll get back to you so that's all the hand holes cut out now so we've got two at this end two at the other end the same on the other side and uh, I, I think they should be quite substantial hand holes so we've no issues with respect to carrying and gripping the box safely I don't think in the end plate at the other end I think I'll cut one in there at higher level as well because you can never have too many hand holes I don't think you can grip it from underneath at the bottom there in the middle but if I do have one at the top then uh, all the better perhaps so I'll do that as well off camera but that's what we're going to end up with so yeah let's see how we go with that so I just need to put the top back on and that's it the box will be finished once I've given it a vac out inside to get rid of all this dust that I've just created so yeah I think I'll be fairly happy with this transportation and storage box uh, the beauty of this is that a you can store things on top of it you can store things around it without damaging the locomotive that's inside when it's in transportation and when it's in store at home or whatever again you can store things on it and it's in a nice dry enclosure where the no dust will get on it etc and when you take it to club tracks you can have the whole thing built up with the batteries in charged just ready for rolling out at the far end so I think I'll be fairly pleased with this box what I will have to do once I alter the buffers on the front of the locomotive I shall have to make the round holes in the end pieces into ovals of course and uh, do some jiggery pokery there but yeah I think the box is uh, fairly finished for now if I do have any issues then we'll make alterations but yeah I think we'll uh, put the lid on and call it a wrap so that's the final handhold cut now into the far end which is the fixed end of the box all that remains to do now is give it a vac out and put the lid on
sure that's the box complete for now then we'll see how it goes in service i think it'll provide good service thanks for watching bye for now